hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen in today's video we are going to be preparing coconut chim chin so in this recipe we are going to be using all-purpose flour mandarin sugar powder milk two eggs one medium size of coconuts baking powder salt and nutmeg so we are going to be using our vegetable oil for frying so this is our coconut next thing we are going to be doing is for us to blend it here is our blended coconuts so in a clean bowl we are going to be adding our all-purpose flour to it this is four cup of flour and i'm pouring in two cup of sugar you can add sugar to your taste i'm using half teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of baking powder so i'm going to be grating some nutmeg to it so after which i'm going to be mixing everything until it's well combined so next we are going to be pouring in our powder milk so this is one and a half cup of powdered milk so I'm adding my mandarin to it. I'm going to be mixing everything together until it's well combined. So after mixing it, I'm going to be creating a hole in between. So next, I'll pour in my blended coconuts. I'm going to be cracking my two eggs inside my floor also so after which i'm going to be mixing everything together without adding water to it i've already used water to blend my coconut enough water for me to mix my dough so at this stage don't be tempted to add water just continue mixing it as you can see so after mixing, I will cover it, set it aside for at least 10 good minutes. So this is after 10 minutes, our dough has rested for 10 minutes. So next, I will add some flour into my work surface and knead my dough for at least a minute. So after which, I will divide the dough into two size, equal size. Because we are going to be cutting two shape of chim chin here, okay? So I'll set that aside and I'm going to be working with this at this moment. So I'll add some flour on my work surface so that it will help my dough very smoothly. So we'll roll it out. I'm going to be rolling my dough until it's very well flat. You see how flat it is? So I'll just divide the dough into two. I'm going to be cutting this part first. You see how flat I roll my dough? So it's important to roll it this way if you want it to be very tiny, okay? So next, I'm going to be cutting it to the size or the shape that I want. Tiny shape, okay? <music> So we are going to be rolling out the other dough so we are going to be rolling this not too tiny and you are going to be slicing it to the size or the shape that you want this is the size that i'm slicing my okay so as i am slicing it i've already preheat my oil my oil has been on my cooker so next we are going to be adding in our chim chin to it <music> So 
this stage you fry it until it is well brown okay see how mine turns out so brown and it's very crunchy this way when you allow it to brown very well you enjoy your chinchi very well okay so we are going to be frying the other batch so guys if you have watched this video to this extent you have not subscribed you have not give this video a thumbs up what are you still waiting for please give me a thumbs up like and share this video if you have not subscribed just click on that red button to subscribe for more amazing video after then turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video you will be the first to be notified okay and for my returning subscribers you guys are amazing i love you all so much and may god continue to bless you so i appreciate you all and i will see you all in my next video so this is our final result this is how our change it turns out so beautiful so crunchy so yummy and it's a must try for you guys try it out and you will come back and thank me for this yummy recipe okay <laughs> so guys let me go and enjoy this chin chin with chewed drink okay i've been in the kitchen all day so i will see you all in my next video Bye-bye.